Hi guys, thanks again for vis visiting us at RS Aquaculture. So to for today's video, I'll be going through an unboxing video of our latest HANA probe, which is the HANA HI98196. It is a DO probe coupled with ORP and pH measurements that we are actually using not just in our outdoor shrimp farm, but also our indoor shrimp farm. So stay tuned as we'll cover what does this new probe actually gives and what are the accessories that comes with this new probe, so stay tuned. So welcome back guys. For those who are new to RS Cow Culture, we actually produce weekly content with regards to shrimp farming and also mud crab farming, either using RAS systems or bioflock systems. So these are information that you probably need nowadays to succeed in the aquaculture industry. So for those who are new, if you'd like to get a weekly notification on our latest video, do remember to like and subscribe so you'll get a notification once we release our video every Friday. So back to this week content. So in the past, we actually shown everybody we're using an older HANA probe, which is a previous model. And we actually had a lot of problems with this probe because some of the telemetry with regards to the probes to the body had some problems. So despite after sending it back multiple times and still having the issue not being fixed, we've decided to top up whatever's the price difference between the old probe and this new one and just to get a better one. We have actually used this model in our earthen pond setup and it's actually quite reliable because we have been using it for at least three times a day for two to three years. So therefore we decided to proceed to get this the same probe we wish we have good, good experience in our past. So this is what you get when you get purchase a new probe, everything in a nice box that you see over here. So the probe is looks here all brand new and it's actually powered by battery so it's not like those chargeable model and on top here you see a pin connector where do you connect the probes at so the probes is actually a different unit as you see over here and you're supposed to connect it to the top according that's a key way to get a secure connection i would be extra careful when dealing with this cable some of the problems tend to be uh, on top of the top layer so what's different about this probe uh, as compared to our previous one, it not only measures dissolved oxygen but also measures the pH and ORP and also temperature which is needed for the correction of the dissolved oxygen data which you see over here. The black color probe is actually the oxygen, the one with the cap is actually pH and the one that looks like a steel rod that is actually for the temperature. Right, so what we do at this stage is because this probe is slightly a bit different, it does not directly connect into the probe. We actually can replace this uh probes if it is actually damaged, unlike the previous unit, which is actually being soldered and connected internally. We could change it out if necessary. And one thing I like to do with this probe is to remove the sinker, as you can see over here, it's actually a stainless steel part in from the probe. So what I don't like about this is actually make it unnecessarily heavy because most of the time this probe will just easily sink down to the bottom so i like to remove this to ensure that the wires are not damaged and this is a quick calibration solution for the ph so you can see it's a big one uh, so you do not run off ph calibration for the ph probe it actually requires more calibration as compared to the do probe and this is actually how a uh, the DO probe solution looks like. It actually, it actually comes with a new meter as well. It has also these new membrane caps, which usually, in my opinion, has to be changed out every probably two to three months, along with refilling of the electrolyte solution within the membrane cap and the probe. So this is also provided. Usually, you finish the whole volume of uh, probes solution after two years, maybe. And uh, here's a USB that's not used for charging, it's actually used for data transfer, so do take note of that as well. So guys, um, this is all what we have for the latest probe unboxing. As you can see, it's actually very comprehensive, comes with all of the necessary, even comes with a CD for installation uh, to get the data out from the file. Um, hopefully you guys find this useful because we realize there's not a lot of models out there that can help you measure your DO and you know perform these kind of measurements more very accurately and most importantly probes that are actually rel very reliable in outdoor condition. So again if you do like our content do like and subscribe and I hope to see you back again at Rasa Aquaculture. So do check out our weekly content every Friday and see you back again.